So today we talk about we've talked about classifying equations. Uh, we just kind of got through uh, where is it? We just kind of got through balancing and talking about uh, where is it now? Oh yeah, up here. Talked about classifying right the, the equations. Acid base, double displacement, single displacement, decomposition, all right, synthesis, combustion. Now what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to finish an equation given only the reactants and the type of equation. So this is what we're going to be able to do given the information that you guys have learned about. So forming equations, okay. So another thing we can do is predict products of a certain type of reaction. If you know that a reaction is a single displacement reaction and you're given the reactants, and that is, let's say in this case, you're given that Mg2 plus this ion reacts with copper 2 nitrate. That's all that you need to know in order to predict these equations. So given this information, it's pretty easy to predict what the products will be, and therefore, you can predict the entire chemical reaction, and then you can balance it, and you'll be done. So predicting uh, chemical equations. So here are the rules. And this is how you do it. Pretty straightforward. There's only four. Okay? So these are the steps or the rules. Number one. In this particular case, you know that one lone element will replace one of the similar ions in the compound. Okay? In this uh, copper 2 nitrate compound. And that is Mg replaces... Cu, because Mg is a positive ion, and copper is a positive ion. So those two are going to switch places. So you write the reactants on the left side, always. And then you move to the predicted products. And this is the trickiest part of this whole process, obviously, because those are unknown. But you know what should replace what, and so... Uh, it shouldn't be a, a super difficult thing. And you always put the products on the right side. So this is the equation that you're going to predict. Okay, You're given this, Mg2+, plus, and you're given that it reacts with copper to nitrate. And you're also told that it's a single displacement reaction. So Mg is going to displace copper. Now copper is going to be the lone element and it's an ion, so you can write it as an ion. We wrote this one as an ion, so this one should be an ion as well. And then Mg is going to get together with NO3. You have to make sure that this is properly, um, that's a properly written formula, okay? Don't just say, well, because this was NO32, then this has to be NO32. It doesn't. What it has to do is it has to be written properly according to Mg. Now, it just so happens that because this was a 2 plus ion and this was a 2 plus ion, that it's it really, it, it really literally just changes place. But you have to write the proper formula for all the products. Okay? So the third step here is make sure that the equation that you've written right here does not add any new atoms. Okay? Make sure the equation does not add any new atoms. If you have a sulfur all of a sudden in here somewhere and you didn't have it over here, you've got a problem. All right? Right? So just like any equation, you have to make sure that you have atoms accounted for on both sides. And then the last thing you would do would, would be balance the equation, and this one uh, already is balanced, right? One, 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 one. All right, so again, that was we were given the reactants and the type of equation, and then we were able to predict. So we're going to do some examples here. All right? And uh, just kind of, you guys should be able to skip down here. Now, you do not have to write all these down at once. We'll just kind of do one at a time. That's just, just how they are in the notes. 
So example number one, this is what you're given. You're given that it's a combustion reaction. Now, a combustion reaction, go back to your types of reactions here, you know, and you should probably have this memorized um, by now. If you don't, you should go back and memorize what these mean. But combustion is um, a compound with oxygen, and usually it's a hydrocarbon plus oxygen. And it always produces this, carbon dioxide and water. So that's an easy one to, to predict those products. Super easy, right? You don't even have to really think. So right here, the products are carbon dioxide plus water. I haven't added any new atoms, but what you have to do now is to make sure that everything is balanced properly. So is this balanced? Carbons are okay. Hydrogens are not. We've got four hydrogens here, only two here. So let's do this. Hydrogens are now good. Oxygens are not balanced. We have two and two is four. So we put a two on this side to multiply by this two. And we should be good, right? Two, one, two, one. Does that look good? Or sorry, two, sorry, one, two, one, two. Agreed? All right. So that's example number one. All right. Because this one is just like our example, why don't you finish this one off? Okay? Take a half a minute here and finish this one off. It's a single replacement. This is what we're given. It's just like our example. Go ahead. Take a minute to do that. You have to be careful with this one to write your proper formulas and balance, okay? Write your proper formulas and balance. Okay, check your answer with that. Does that look right? Did I do that right, or is there an error there? Because sometimes I throw just a little error in there to see if anyone's paying attention. So, does this look correct? Yeah. It's a single replacement, so iron kicks out Na. So, iron is going to combine or bond with bromine. Now, bromide ion is a negative one, right? And so we have to have three bromides attached to one iron three plus ion. The sodium gets kicked out and it's just Na plus. Now to balance, um, that's that's when I balance here. So let's see if I can erase this. Yeah. So there's three bromides. So I need three here. And that makes a three over there. So one, three, one, three. Good. <coughs> All right, um, these next ones here, uh, I'm going to give you a chance to start this and to see if you can, I think you can figure these all out. So why don't you just take a chance to do these three right here, and then I'll kind of reveal the answers to you in a bit. All right, so here's the solutions to all of the equations uh, here. This last one that... Uh, yeah, it's a 2 plus ion, but remember, O2 always has to, it's a diatomic, right? So it always has to be O2 and it's by itself. But the oxygen ion is almost always a 2 minus ion, okay? Um, and so it's a 2 plus and a 2 minus, that's just PbO to balance 2, 1, 2. Okay, so that's how we um, predict uh, chemical equations given reactants and the type of reaction. And now you can finish the second half of that worksheet that I gave you uh, last day. So take some time to work on that. And uh, that's sort of the end of this, uh, this lesson here for today. Um, here are the answers uh, down here too in a little bit neater form, I guess.
those questions.